So I'm making this video because I know when I first started learning about electric skateboards, I really wish this video had existed because I spent hours and hours and hours trying to figure out what the hell to do about a power switch. I've watched countless build videos and almost all of them include a XT90 interrupter switch. Basically it's just they wired the overall circuit in a way where they just plug in an extra XT90 connection to complete the circuit and that's their on and off power switch. I'm sure you've all seen it if you've been doing as much research as I did when I built my electric skateboard then I'm sure you have seen uh, other people use that method, but today I'm talking about actual pretty looking power buttons and uh, It's really important, but there's not that many options because the switches have to have a high amp and high voltage rating There are really not that many options to choose from so if you do a simple search on Amazon for a power switch You'll find actually a lot of different cool looking switches So this switch looks really cool and like to me at first I got really excited about the switch It looks super nice super simple but the rating is 20 amps at 12 volts. Well, the voltage side of it, you know, a 10S battery times 3.7 volts nominal, I mean, that's 37 volts, not 12. So running that much voltage through there is already going to, you're, you're gonna be running the switch at, you know, at a too high a rate. And then 20 amps, which is the bigger deal, because at, at certain points, even for a few seconds, our, our boards draw a lot, a lot of amps. I mean, you can get up to 100 amps if, you know, for a few seconds, but usually in our best settings, I'm selecting 40 amps coming out of my battery, so there's not that many options. Now, you will find battery switches that are rated for high voltage or high amperage, but it's usually either or and not both. So that's why this switch is basically the only option. But luckily, it's super easy to use and it looks pretty cool. So it's pretty simple. It comes with a solid state relay switch and the power button itself. There's two sides to the switch, one that's labeled in, one that's labeled out. All this does is it goes between your battery and your ESC or VESC. So uh, the side that's marked in, that's where your battery goes, that's where the power goes in. And then on the side that's marked out, that's where your VESC goes, that's where you're pushing the power to, to your motor. So if you already have a functioning electric skateboard and then you already have a battery, you already have an ESC or a VESC, but now you wanna upgrade it in a way. So you want it to be easier to use, be less of a pain in the ass. For the longest time, I just unplugged and plugged back in my battery to my VESC and that's how I turn it on and off. That's not really good for your VESC. So after you get your power switch in the mail, you'll just need to take two uh, connections of choice. Mine happen to be XT90s, that's, that's what's on my battery and that's what's on my VESC and just solder them to the connections on the power switch. So after you have the power switch installed between your battery and your vest. You'll need to connect the power button really easy. There's a few wires, there's a red, black, yellow, and white. Uh, on the actual power switch itself, there's little labels saying red, black, white, yellow. You just make sure you plug them in the right way. Each pin is labeled, you just plug it in, and then you're good to go. It's literally, that's it. Now you have a functioning power switch. Now if you want your power switch to then also control an LCD screen that reads out the proper battery percentage that you have, that's also really simple. The battery capacity indicators come with a red and black wire. The red wire is connected to your positive lead, the black wire is connected to the negative lead, and to make sure that it turns on and off with the push of the button, you have to install it after the switch, so on the outside. The side that's labeled out, um, you want it to come after the switch so that way uh, it's affected with the power button. If you install it uh, in the beginning, then it'll always be on. You won't be able to turn it off unless you unplug it, which this back piece is pretty fragile, so I wouldn't be plugging it in and out all the time. Now there is some confusion with this thing. Um, this thing is great because it works with uh, one to like 18 cells or something like that, but you have to program it. And when I say programming it, I'm, it's not really programming it. Uh, the first time you plug it in, uh, there's a little button on the back. So you hold that button, then supply power to it, and then you'll see this little weird letter and number combination. L stands for lithium, which is we're using that with everything. So lithium, whether it's lithium ion or uh, a lipo, you just select with the main front button how many cells you have. So for me, I have a 10 cell battery, so I click through the menu until it reads 10. Then you unplug this from any power, and then uh, once you plug it back into power, it'll remember the settings you left off, so it'll say the proper uh, percentage. If you just plug it in without doing that, it, it'll say 100% no matter what because you're plugging it in. Uh, this is thinking it's a 3-cell battery and you're plugging it into a 12-cell battery. 
12 cell battery will never deplete enough to make it say not 100%. So if you're having that issue, there's a little button on the back, so you're welcome. That's, I mean, it's really simple, but I wanted to make sure everybody knew this information because it took me a while to figure it out. So if you need links to anything to get one yourself, I have it all in the description. I've laid it all out for you, really simple. Um, it's all in my electric skateboard kit down below as well, but I'll put those links above that just so it's easier for you. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions about the power switch, put a comment below. I try to answer every single question or comment I get. So anyways, have a good uh, time building your boards and such. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, you should because I make a lot of videos about electric skateboards and I travel and I just make try to make fun videos. So if you're into it, um, consider subscribing. You know, or not, you know, it's your choice, whatever.